welcome back to my limited view. This past weekend, I was talking to a friend of mine. I have to admit, I don't talk to him often because he lives in Southern California, but we had a really meaningful conversation about baggage and the kind of baggage we all carry. Sometimes our baggage is completely justified. Maybe we had an abusive childhood, we had absent parents, whatever it is. Other times, it's self-inflicted, whether it's us having a dramatic reaction to something or negative thoughts running wild. But the thing behind it is, whatever baggage you have, is your baggage small enough that you can actually carry it with you on the flight? Or is it so oversized that you have to check it and then pay an additional fee because it's an odd shaped package? Either way, whatever situation you're in, if you don't take the time to address and actually acknowledge your baggage, it's only gonna get worse. Whatever scars you have are yours. They're totally yours, and if you don't see what they are and recognize where they came from, every situation you encounter will build on these scars. So instead of you just healing from the, the original scar of, you know, oh, my mom was never available, she never cooked breakfast for me, she never tucked me into bed, you still have that foundation, and the relationships you've been in and everything else you've done, now you're piling on. So you're not even gonna be able to get to that original scar because you have this pile of scars that you've actually created yourself. Now, it's not so terrible and it's not so scary. The good thing is that the universe or God, whatever you believe in, will continually help you to face these scars, to face these fears, and ideally get you past these fears. That's the great thing behind that. Everyone you encounter on some level is gonna put up this mirror where you have to face your scars. And if you're aware of what they are, then you might be able to recognize it and minimize any additional scars. Now, if you don't take the time to do this, you're gonna miss out on so many happy moments. If you're viewing life through a hurt lens, you're gonna miss the things that are great and joyous that are around you daily. In my case, my trigger was abandonment. I grew up with absent parents and I had a very abusive childhood where I was constantly reminded that I wasn't worthy and that I was nothing. Now you can imagine when you're a child and you get this every day, it took a lot of work for me to realize that, oh wow, wait a minute, I'm carrying, these, the, I'm carrying all these scars and all this pain with me as I navigate through life. I moved out at the age of 16 and when you're 16 years old, well in my case I looked like I was 14. I was, skinny and a small, a short individual. Um, I would go grocery shopping, I would pay my phone bills, I would pay my electricity bill. Just imagine you have a 14 year old, or someone who looks like they're 14, trying to function as an adult. I was constantly dismissed by everyone around me. Which led to me having to almost bark for everything I wanted. So I kept bumping along the way and when people would give me no or say no to me, I would just bark at it because I was like, oh no, I need to do this. Then all of a sudden I become an adult and I fall in love for the first time. I was 20 years old, I fell in love with someone who worked in my building and of course this person was not the best for me. They were great for me because I got to experience what loving someone was. It was my first dating scenario, the first time I actually got to do a lot of things that you don't get to experience unless you're dating someone. But this person ultimately broke my heart, uh, cheated on me. And I'm not saying that this person's bad. There's, there's nothing wrong with this individual. I was, the, I was the one who attracted this person and worse, was attracted to this person. And this person did what they needed to do for their own evolution. And the way it reflected back to me is it made me feel that I was less than because not only did our relationship end, but you also cheated on me. So I wasn't good enough on two counts. And that led to additional scars and then when I got into a new relationship after that I came in with the doubt and the fear and the insecurities that the first relationship caused and then I again became this almost controlling questioning my boyfriend where were you why didn't you pick up the phone when I called you this that or the other and I realized had I been aware that my abandonment was that my trigger was abandonment I maybe would have selected a better partner when I started dating and maybe someone who would have not done those things, but those things needed to happen because I hadn't quite dealt or processed what my hurt and my pain were. So do yourself a favor. It's okay that you have baggage, because we all have it, but carry your baggage, hold it. What does it feel like? What does it look like? What is it that you're insecure about? 
Now, I'm not gonna say this is easy. It definitely requires a lot of work, but the payoff is great. So be kind to yourself and figure out what it is you need to work on and make your baggage small enough that you can fit it in a nice designer bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And in, in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying your view.